Frequent flyers aren't the only ones who consider Nebraska a flyover state. Every spring and fall, American white pelicans like this one migrate through here. For some reason, this guy stuck around. When I heard that it was a pelican, we always verify first, is it really a pelican? Tim Bryson spotted the lone bird struggling to swim near Fremont and contacted Laura Stastny and Scott Hansen with Nebraska Wildlife Rehab. I get pretty excited when we get calls like this because for me, I, lo I love the excitement of that potential capture and hopefully success story at the end. It's not every day you get to witness a pelican rescue, so we went along. It took a while to find the bird, but when we did, it clearly needed help. Did you get him? All right. That is awesome. <laughs> oh my God. In your 20 years of airboating, have you ever had a pelican on board? I have never had a pelican on board. <laughs> I like to call some customers pelicans, but. <laughs> when I saw that he was going to be in a situation we could get him, I had no doubt we were going to get that guy. A quick exam revealed two injuries, a broken foot and broken wing. My guess is that we're dealing with healed fractures mm -hmm. and whether those leave him unreleasable, which is possible that he'll be unreleasable, um, we would definitely work with partners to try to get him placed into a captive colony. We're pretty excited to be able to help out with you guys and, and you guys make the call and we were able to get the, uh, the boat to your bird to save it. Hopefully we can take care of this guy and give him at least another chance at the life he could have had had he not gotten hurt. It's likely the pelican's injuries happen during migration. The very large birds fly in flocks and can hit power lines or get caught in severe weather. This is the first time Nebraska Wildlife Rehabs had access to the water in time to save an injured pelican. Back to you.